This was, for decades, Berlin's gateway to the world, transporting millions of passengers every year to and from the German capital, until demand finally outgrew what its 70s chic could offer. When Berlin's Tegel Airport closed in 2020, there was one big question. What to do with such a huge site? The answer, a space for technology companies, a university and even the homes of the future. Let's go and take a look. Where better to start a tour than the highest spot? Tell us about Tegel Airport. Well, yeah, it's a true panoramic experience. What we can see really well from up here is actually the former orange cargo halls and the former workshops where we have that first community of startups already here. They do autonomous driving, all sorts of urban tech innovations. Yeah, they really give this space a sense of what it feels like when we actually have a community here. The architecture here is quite iconic. The plan is to keep a lot of it. Absolutely. So this is one of the main endeavours really of the site, to keep the heritage. We don't want to lose the identity of this space at all. We want to use it and kind of inspire people to see something new in it. So that's why the Urban Tech Republic really tries to combine heritage and innovation. These buildings are incredibly iconic and even sentimental for lots of Berliners. But this site will also include new buildings and a community of homes fit for the future. So this really shows us the scale of the site here. Yeah, here we have a map of the different project that we're looking at. Over in the far corner of the airport, away from the tech hub, will be more than 5,000 homes. But that will be a test ground for new innovation in sustainable living. And there's an attempt to make them future-proof, including when we rely on the sky more for deliveries. They're currently planning mobility hubs for drones where they have PED to kind of land and also to be serviced. While some of the development will take the next decade or so to complete, there are already the first of the smaller tech startups moving in. Yeah, welcome. We're in the former cargo hall of the airport Tegel. That used to be the place where all air freight, like which is not passengers or passenger luggage, went through. Here we have organizations from renewable energies that work, for instance, on a green hydrogen or a storing heat for cities in the future. We've also got companies working on e-mobility, but also food production and also sustainable construction of houses. What is the draw for a tech company to come and be based here at an old airport? There's lots of space and solutions for future cities, they require space to develop prototypes, to have test labs and everything. The range of companies here so far is growing, like Enerkite, who are developing power generating tech they hope could provide electricity for communities, but also has the potential to pop up anywhere. There's also companies trying to get food production as close to homes as possible through mobile greenhouses. Cheers. Thank you. What is the big benefit to you as a startup of being based here at the airport? Big dynamic and positive uh, spirit to, um, to develop um, a technology that helps to uh, fight the climate change. It's also very inspiring to be in a decommissioned airport. The idea that now we can disseminate like ideas and actually products from here to the rest of the world is very inspiring. Converting a site of this scale is going to take the next 10 to 20 years, but there are a couple of big challenges. One, keeping the history of this place and mixing that with new buildings, but also trying to predict what infrastructure will be needed for the technology of the future.